Good morning, guys. Welcome to our uh, start playthrough of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Sorry, I was checking a sponsorship. Uh, checking a sponsorship to see if we could uh, get into it, but I think oh, I'm too late. The quest is already closed. That sucks. I should check more often. Herbs didn't see it either, though, sadly, so I guess it's not just me. When that happens, though, my fault for not checking more often. They haven't had much lately, so. I'll keep my eye out a little bit better. Still check too deep. Believe that we've been doing that, anyways. It's the wrong one, there. Good deal. And that was probably been a decent partnership too for that partner or that sponsorship. I hate when that happens though when you just just completely um, forget deck. I thought that I should be paying a bit more. That. Hard to get it. This is right here. Oh, it's right there. Already got it, apparently. Oh, that's why. I already got it. I was wondering. I thought I got it. I don't know why it popped back up on the map. Kind of thought it might like respawn. You gotta be careful with the best stuff that you can. I go this way. Father, father, come quick. It's the Ishiki. What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's... The king's horn? The call to the future? <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go. The cook found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Kuali went to the market to get herbs, but he hasn't returned. That's terrible. 
Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kowali, the son of Kabil. Oh, that poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. I can't carry any more. Hello there. Hey, you're Ishiki from the outside, right? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Well, I recently left here on my me. second playthrough of this game. I'm Yamil. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his One ceremonial second. knife to show my friends, and Chimali the guard saw. Chimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh, let me see what I can do. Wow, really? Thank you. How are you doing today, Evie? Yeah, I've been really enjoying this one. You did a really good job on uh on the Tomb Raider games. Kind of amazing. I think I like them better than the old ones, honestly. I haven't played the old ones in a long time since I was like a kid on PlayStation 1, but. Thank you, Ishiki. Feels like You're I enjoy welcome. these ones more. Hey, wait a minute. The grown ups around here always chase us away, but you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. So, what do you want, Ishiki? I mean, is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death. We can't do anything. And Chimali the guard hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Remy, with me. Samin, watch our backs. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Chimali, you coward! You'll end your life as a slave! Come taste my blood! <laughs> yeah, and oh. taste llama patties too! Run, run! Yeah, I try not to talk during the dialogue at all. <laughs> it it kind of, it's one of the problems with story games, especially like on stump streaming, because a lot of people will like, not, uh... Like, get mad and leave your stream if you don't answer right away. And it's just like, you know, bro, like... <laughs> we're playing a story game. We need a story. Your troubles. Wait, who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. 
I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go. Your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. That's another thing this game has done really well, is side quests. I feel like a lot of games just struggle with side quests. Like, they just get so boring and tedious after a while. But this one does a really good job of them all being pretty different. And the story's interesting. It's not just, like, blah, blah, blah. And kind of nice, like, learning about the people through them. And the prizes are pretty decent, too, of what you earn for doing them. Boy, sorry. I thought I told you to go. Kuali is safe, and I have the herbs your wife needs. Really? Then did you come to cure her or to barter for the king's horn? Here, this will help you. Bless you, Shiki. Kabir, quit being an ass. <laughs> Here, with respect to the future king, thank you for all you've done. Thank you. I like the change between t and rise and shadow. I love that. Yeah, it's nice. We played through the other one not too long ago, and this one feels like an improvement. I don't think I like the uh, the the uh, the environment as much, but that's not a real big complaint, honestly. Not like I hate the environment. I think I just preferred like the uh, the other one a little bit more, but the jungle's not bad. Which has been a little bit since we played it. Not real long, but long enough probably for me to forget about <laughs> what it really was. Where's this thing at? Can we get this? These two? Yeah, I've played, I, I think I've played like most of the Tomb Raiders now, I think. I, did, I even played the ones on PS2, which weren't bad, but they were going more towards this route, but not as depth yet. Amazing, Osh. I wish I had uh, a nice computer. It's so hard for me to justify the cost of a good PC, though. <laughs> so tough. I don't know how you get to this, uh, this paper here. is under us too so somehow we have to get below it I don't know how we get below it but I'll figure out later but about 2100 yeah 2100 to me is a lot you know for PC I think I paid like not even $900 for mine and mine I can do some stuff I can stream off of it and stuff but I can't really play and stream at the same time sadly so it's kind of Lucky. I'm really bad at dodging in this game. Uh, beginning is my biggest hobby. I don't like really I just as a woman, I have small hands and find the controllers are for bigger hands. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they never like they only make like one size fits all you know you think uh, they would uh have different like types maybe there's not just not enough people wanting that or at least they think so but it seems like it'd be a really good idea slightly smaller controllers for Best people to and first to return Jonah's stories of you are true the king's horn as requested did Kabil give you any trouble you were right about his wife she definitely had a way with his heart 
Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quincy that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. He jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenty perfectly. That is? He never should have sent Quenty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old sister. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenti can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it. Oh, oh yeah, that would suck. That is the thing with PC though, there is a lot more variety. I mean... With even keyboards and mouses and all the other stuff, there's so much stuff that you can use to fit you. Consoles are very much uh, one size fits all kind of thing, which I guess makes sense. It's kind of the whole goal of consoles. Cheaper than PCs. Not the best, but not the worst kind of thing. I'm so glad I've never gotten motion sickness. That would really stink. I finally got that dive right. I've been trying to do that dive for a while now. Every time I try to do it, like, she just, like, tumbles or something. And it won't allow me to push O. Uchu said the entrance to the cistern was a cave above the white tree. The problem with Red Dead Redemption 2, I'll continue playing it, but after minutes, I want to puke. That really sucks. Do you take motion sickness pills? I mean, I guess I'd have to suck taking pills every time you play the game, but... I'll run over here, I guess. I like Red Dead Redemption 2, but that controls are awful in that game. The controls are so bad in that game. It was low-key to make me not want to like do much anything after I finish the main story. I just kind of quit playing it after I finished the main the story. Entrance. As long as I ride shotgun. Oh, I got so lucky with that because I got... I can read and I can read books while I ride with people. I can play uh, like the little portable games, right? I can do all that stuff with no problem. Got lucky, I guess. But Red Dead Redemption 2, it's one of those games like I don't know, it's good, but I think the problem with Red Dead Redemption 2 is Minor spoilers, very minor spoilers in my opinion, but it's um, where it's a prequel to the other one, it kind of changes how the story runs a bit. The threat of the disease I don't know much about a spoiler that is, I can't remember how obvious it was. Some of us began to suspect his betrayal, while others worried for his safety. The only course of action was to remain in the city, the reasoning twofold. We be ready when Lopez came to his senses and returned the artifact. Or well, this would be the easiest point from which to mount a search for him. We struck an accord with the king. 
we would become his royal guard, physicians, and priests. That's another nice thing about this game. They have her reading everything. Like, I like to read, but it does get a little bit tedious reading all this stuff. After a while. This shows a pilgrimage from a great city. This must be Manco, leading the priestess's ancestors out of Cusco. Star Wars games, man. There's so many good games out there. I want to play. I haven't played. Something's I, wrong. I want to play. Um. I need to play the new Star Wars and Assassin's Creed. I have never really played Assassin's Creed game. I played a little bit of the first one, way back when it came out, but that was let's say that's a while back. I've been wanting to get into that series too. There's too many good games out there, man. It's like. <coughs> No one's been. Which we've been beating some games. We did just recently beat. Who did we beat? World of Final Fantasy. That's a really good game. A few others. We just beat Days Gone, too. Been through here in centuries. This has to be the right place. We have been making progress playing through a lot of games lately, which is uh, I've been enjoying. The remains of the peasant savior have been moved to an undisclosed location. We've had reports of the cult stealing objects and artifacts and holding them hostage in exchange for docility. We will not allow such a sacrilege to happen to Manco. Okay, it's it just randomly decided to turn itself off there. I don't know why. <laughs> that was weird huge though yeah i it's funny enough i got witcher 3 downloaded i haven't started it yet i kind of go back and forth if i want to start playing it or not i know they say it's really big so it's like do i want to start playing it or like maybe do some shorter games before we start it i haven't decided yet i was thinking about maybe starting it today or one day this week but maybe starting it today later on This could be an effigy of the peasant savior. It might have been stolen by the cult of Kukul Khan to keep the Piteans from worshipping it. Or maybe it was given to them as payment for protection. But we might start The Witcher 3. I would like I said there I've been trying to play more. I got like in a multiplayer game kick for a little while. But I've been trying to this more. Go here. Oh, there it is. Right there, I guess. Not up in here, right? Tried to hate it, but couldn't. Yeah, I've heard re really good things. I don't think I've ever heard anybody not like The Witcher 3. I have heard it's really long, so a lot of people I know, like, have had trouble finishing it. But. I don't feel like that's going to be an issue for me as long as I don't get sidetracked on it. That's my biggest problem is like taking breaks from games and then trying to get back to them. Oh, there, Laura. You just randomly like turn it off. It has like 11 endings too. Ah, oh, gross. I hate multiple ending games, honestly. I don't really hate, I guess it's strong, but it, it annoys me a little bit. <sighs> a little bit. <laughs> I don't I don't mind like multiple ending games where they like or you know if you beat one ending, but if you continue to do post game stuff like uh World of Final Fantasy did that, you could Beat them. You had like one ending, and then you had another ending, and then I think you had like a third ending if you played, done some more of the side stuff. It's just kind of hard for me to replay games like that because they are so big, you know. I'd rather have time for uh, other games. 
Banco's resting place. This looks suspicious. I just got tough. I almost tried to replay Days Gone with New Game Plus and I couldn't get through it. It's like, I just rather, I guess, try out new games. Got the crap out of me a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. It's fine. Yeah, that's the thing. It's too big to replay. Now, people are really good at like wanting to replay games, but me personally, like I guess depending on the game, it's kind of hard. Like it really is to replay something that big and try to. And a lot of that stuff to get the other endings, you basically have to follow a guide. You know, it's you kind of can't just like, you kind of just can't play it. And playing with a guide gets kind of boring to me. But you get a lot of people like when you stream games like that coming in and say, "Hey, if you do this, you should be doing this," so you get the other ending. It's kind of annoying a little bit. I guess it's the thing with streaming, trying to play blind is a little bit. We've also had people spoil games too, really annoyingly enough. We played through Spider-Man, somebody came and spoiled some of it. I don't get why. People are just jerks, I guess. This looks like a procession of the dead. It's the order hiding Manco from the cult of Kukul Khan. Yeah, we had people spoil Spider-Man. We had people spoil uh Red Dead Redemption 2, people spoiled that. I think this Spider-Man one probably annoyed me the most. Shit, no. Oh, hell. We'll probably start it. I'll probably go. I'll probably, once I start that one, I'll probably play that one. I'll probably play Spyro too, I guess. This we lever should raise the water level. This shows burial dolls, pottery, and textiles being placed in here with the dead. This wasn't just a hiding place, the order turned it into a crypt. I know it kind of goes back to like wanting to wait to play stream games just because you don't get as many spoilers. <clears throat> but then you, you kind of get spoiled anyways. Because people like spoil it on other sites. Like there's stuff I've gotten spoiled on The Witcher. There's stuff I've gotten spoiled on The Witcher so... One of those things I guess. Which I don't have as many viewers as I used to, so I guess that's one positive. It's losing, you know, when my viewers dropped is like less spoilers for stuff when I play it. Positives, right? This lever should raise the water level. The order left members behind as sentinels when they sealed the system. All these bones, they sacrificed themselves to protect this place. Anything before we pull this? Oh, I love that one. We played that one not too long ago. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, we played that one. That was really good. I did turn off one of my mods off playing that game, though. They did not like the look of it once they watched me play it, though, sadly. <laughs> they are like, yeah, I don't think I want to play this now after they watched me play it. They are like, nah, nah, nah. Wasn't their type of game. They were kind of excited to play it until they saw it. They're like, mm -hmm. Changed their mind a bit. Hello, Manko. Now, where's the amulet? But I really enjoyed that one too. It's too bad you can't play on console. There's a lot of amazing console games. 
I know there's a lot on PC that are amazing now that we don't get. To get this back to Uchu. Uchu. Pure silver. From what I understand, Manka was a simple farmer. This must have been made posthumously as an offering to honor him. Because, like, Horizon Zero Dawn, another amazing game that I love playing, but you guys won't get, sadly. Really good game. I really love, like, bow and arrow gameplay for some reason. I just love it. Like, in this or any game, it's kind of just fun shooting bows and arrows. There's light coming through this wall. Another sealed or passageway, I bet. Second one coming out. Oh, they're making a second one. Yeah, that was really good. Another really good game that was God of War, which I like the new God of War more, be more better than the other ones. The new one was very much story based, which I need to play through the first couple of God of Wars. I think I played the first one and that's it. I haven't played it yet. I said it kind of stinks with like exclusive games. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks with all these exclusive games you can't play. Push back where we started. Okay. Yeah, sadly. Sadly, sadly. Like Zero Rise and Dawn, uh, God of War. Both really worth playing games, but they're both exclusive. Spider Man was good. I feel like Spider Man would give you really bad motion sickness, though, if, if you had that. Really bad. <laughs> Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Just that. Yay, new friends. I was hoping that was our last one there, but no. I guess we should go to the merchant and sell some stuff just in case. Fighting that tree up green still. But we appreciate you. I play a lot of games though. I used to keep track of what games we play. I needed to get back to doing that. But we used to keep really good track of what we played through because kind of nice but I need to update that I need some bolts merchant 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 But there is. There's so many good games out there. I've been trying to get through some of them. I would like to try to get through most of my PS4 games before the PS5 comes out. Because that's probably what I'll do. I would like to upgrade my PC. But that's such a big cost. I don't know if I would even like want to upgrade mine or just like get a new one. I don't really want to build a PC though. Honestly. I really don't. kind of don't want to. You have made an excellent choice my friend. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. Thank you, friend. The DLC in this game kind of makes it kind of moot. Honestly, with some of this stuff that you can buy. Hi there. Welcome. Speechless. I've heard of that one. I need to write some of this stuff down if I ever get around to playing on PC. I was hoping she had some 
these. How much is this? Oh, this is a good one. Oh, what was that game that I played? It's Okami, right? Okami was another good one. I don't know if it's available on Steam or not, though. But it's, it was really good. It's like... You played as a wolf, but like the gameplay is all like uh the gameplay is all like paint based. It's kind of, it's really cool like how they set it all up. You like draw stuff to attack. You do different things. I played it on PS2, which means like using a controller. But I don't know how it'd be on PC. But it, they do have it on PC. That's a really amazing one. Go for and play that. Yeah, it's really good. Available on PC now? Yeah, definitely should play it if you enjoy. That was really good. You playing using a controller? Is it? Let me see. Orion right, the Blind Forest. Let me Google that really fast. Then. It is available on PS4. Is it only available on Xbox? Really? Let's see. Man, the coffee's coming up. Oh, it's only available on Xbox. That's annoying. Only available on Xbox. I think Xbox or PC. Rip. I still save that though. I probably will never play it on Xbox, but but maybe I can eventually get it on PC. My PC might be able to handle that game. That kind of sucks. That's kind of excited. It looks fun. What little I just glimpsed of it. Or base platformer. Like you, Evie, you got all the good ideas. I tell ya. Really fun, like meeting somebody that likes the same kind of games as you. <laughs> Just nerd out like hardcore. The way accuracy. I'm full of good ideas. I'm full of something. I don't know if I'd call it good ideas though. Hardy har har. Oh, I didn't mean to do that one. I wanted to do this one. Oops. Wanted to do more shots. <laughs> I hurt. I hurt. I haven't been looking at new games. I've been trying, like, last year. I tried not to buy any new games after a certain amount of time because I was trying to save money and actually play through the crap that I've gotten. I still think I ended up with a few new ones by the end of the year. Dang sales. <laughs> ah, Lara. Quincy returned a short while ago. A little worse for wear, but alive. I'm glad to see you're okay as well. That system is quite a challenge. I'm happy Quinty made it back. <sighs> but without the Savior's amulet, I'm afraid. You mean this Savior's amulet? What? <laughs> Laura, you found it. That's incredible. Here. I can't thank you enough. When Zan returns with the Champion's Bow, we will honor all of the gatherers. Including you, if you join us. I'll be there. That it? I'm guessing that's it, right? We got stuff that we haven't picked up here yet, still. Some of the stuff I just don't know how to get to. Like this, I don't know how to get to.
least not all the way through. Yeah, I've tried not to do that. Brains are weird, though, because your brain's like, well, it's on sale, right? I can't beat it. But then it goes on sale again later, and it's like, man, I should have just waited to buy it. You know? But I guess if it's one of your main hobbies, who cares? It's just money, right? It's just money. I think we're gonna do a little bit more of this side stuff, get a few of this stuff done. Let's do it now. Turn 31. Think. Whoops. I think you might have more games than me, which I haven't been updating my list. I have to use back. I use Backlogger to keep track of my games where I pay on. Uh... Yeah, you have a lot more than me. I think I only have uh, 400 total, and that's across all my consoles. I would say. I used to buy a lot more games. Plus. Which I guess if you mainly play on PC, it's a, you know. Which honestly, it's probably a bit more than that. I have a lot of games that I haven't added to that thing lately. How do I think about it? There's a lot of crap I should add to it, but I haven't got around to it yet. I don't know how you get this or these either. Or over here either. I feel like it's time just to continue the story game mission. This over here has got a lot of survival catches we need to pick up. And a crypt. I think that crypt we can't do until we get the shotgun though, so. So, let's see. Let's go back. Let's go do the story thing, I guess. One of those. Put a place in 2005. Yeah. I kind of have interest in MMOs, but there's just too much, right? It, it, it's too much of a time kill. I'd rather, like, spend my time playing through other story games, you know? So I've been trying to avoid our, uh, MMOs. <laughs> trying. I haven't played an MMO, seriously, since I was... I used to play RuneScape, like... Like 20 years ago. I mean, not exactly 20 years, but... Makes me feel old to think that. 20 years ago? A little less than 20 years? Maybe 15 years? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> How old are you? I'm 30. Turn 30, right? So not like old old, but it feels old, right? Once you hit that 30 mark, you're like, man. Thirty-five. Wow, you don't look a day over twenty. You know? Jonah, I think I'm close to the mine entrance. Gucci says it's at the edge of the mountain. He sent the rebel ahead to open it. Thanks. That sounds like a stalker, didn't it? I shouldn't have said that. It sounds like a stalker. Like you don't look a day. Like man, you haven't seen me. Like oh, backs away from the window slowly. You know, kind of feeling. Anything else up here we need to get before we go any farther? No. Don't worry, I get it. Yeah. I guess that's the fun. I'm just an awkward person. He did give me a good laugh. Here it is. It's kind of like, it's kind of like flirting, right? It's funny. We can laugh at my own expense. I went to a water park one day, and this girl came up to me, and she looked at me, and she's like, "Your beard is magical," and me being very smooth I'm like oh you should grow a beard then right just because my awkward cringy humor and and she's like well I might have trouble and I think I was like and then I walked away I'm like man I'm pretty sure that this girl just thought I called her a man <laughs> I just told this chick she should grow a beard but it's fine right yeah I think she took it that I was calling her say she looked like a man though sadly I thought it was funny. <laughs> Probably not hurt as much. Crack me up also so it works on you, okay. Yeah.
Oh, I've taken it as a joke, yeah. That's just my humor. It's very cringy. It's kind of like The Office. I've been watching The Office with a friend. And she's like, man, this humor is so cringy and stuff. And I was like, man, that's why I like it, right? Cringy humor is the best humor. It's the humor that people look at you like you're crazy kind of stuff. That's how you know you, know you made a good joke. Make people feel a little bit uncomfortable, right? <laughs> Dad jokes, pickup lines, like cheesy stuff like that. It's always fun. Oh, it's the best. Your name looked familiar to me, Evie, but I'm not sure if it's you or if I'm thinking about somebody else. Probably somebody else, I would guess. I'm just kind of confused myself. When it becomes a pair. <laughs> That's a good one. It's kind of like, this one's a little bit dirtier, but it was funny because they were talking about like, uh, a guy goes to a $5 hooker and, uh, and he gets crabs, right? And the guy goes in and he fusses at the hooker, you know, like, how dare you give me crabs? I can't believe you give me crabs. And she said, I'm a $5 hooker. What did you expect? Lobster? I'm like, ah. <laughs> like, man, that's a good one, right? Just like cheesy enough to. Like, it's one of those ones that's really bad, but it's funny bad, right? Best ones. Funny bad ones. They should be really, really bad. I feel like that was a pity lol, but we'll take it, right? Who's this guy talking to? Was he like nobody around? He's just chatting away. You must be a streamer, right? That's what you do as a streamer. You just talk to yourself when nobody else is around. Talk and talk and talk. No matter if anybody's around or not. I actually had people come in stream and they're like, man, well, who are you talking to? It's like, I'm just talking, right? What do you want me to do? Be quiet? Like, Careful. Is it better? I've been a bird out lately and I've still recovered, so I haven't been feeling much. So thanks. Oh, I appreciate that. I've always liked helping people. Always have. <laughs> it's always nice. I, I feel like I'm surprised more people don't want to help people more and stuff and make them happy because it's such a good feeling, right? Even if you're a selfish person, to me, it always feels good to like make somebody's day better. I'm in a selfish manner. It's like, well, I did it for me to make myself feel better, right? Feel better than nothing, right? Still recovering. Talking to no one when chat is slow. Like right yeah. Chat's been really kind of slow lately. It's like hit or miss for me. It kind of sucks. A lot of people I've known have like quit streaming and moved away from Twitch or moved to another platform like Mixer or whatever. So it's kind of hard to find a lot of people. I've been trying to like rebuild. Rebuild. Oh. 
Ooh. That was close. Did they... I think they saw me. Son of a... Crap. Open that gate. I think that goes back to the old charity the question, right? Might be on the top of that wall. Yeah, I hear a lot of people say stuff like, wow, this person here is only doing charity to do it, get attention, to do this. And it's like, the charity still gets done. The reasoning behind the charity doesn't like negate what, what you get from charity, in my opinion, right? Charity still gets done, so it's still a good thing. Reasoning behind it doesn't matter as much to me, in my opinion. Impossible. I can't carry any more. Kind of just screwed that up, but it's fine. We'll just kill them all. Space for that. What is that? We've been a burnout lately and I'm still recovering. Yeah. I think we all get a bit burnout sometimes. I feel like my problem with getting burnout is just other people a lot of times. Some people are just like are exa exhausting. Oh, impossible. <laughs> I can't carry any more. And not because they're like bad people. Some people are just exhausting as hell. <laughs> but man. I think we can pick up most of this stuff. Certain in the ribs. I don't know if there's anything here that we should really worry about picking up. Most of the stuff we're full on. I guess we can make arrows. Need bullets. Oh, yeah. I can't make bullets, honestly. That'd be kind of a waste of our bolts. We don't. You don't really get much bolts in this game, it feels like, compared to like the other stuff, at least not yet. Full up. Can't carry any more. <sighs> is there anything here that we should pick up? It doesn't say so. We're done. I think we, got, I think we got everything here. Let's get him. Kind of don't like it to leave a place without searching a little bit more. Because if it's some people will do stuff they don't want to, but usually a lot of people know when you did it for them and that they don't want to. I think it's fine being good about helping others. Something good was done. Yep. Reasoning does it. Behind a lot of stuff doesn't matter as much, yeah. The whole selfless act thing is kind of really hard, right? If there is such thing as a selfless act. Always an interesting conversation, right? See how people think about that? Uh...
Duni Shokol, Kalampil. Mother, would you get him out of here? Play next. I think what I try to do is two story games at a time is usually what I try to do, and a little bit of like multiplayer game in the middle usually, which lately has been Apex. So I'm thinking once I just beat World of Final Fantasy, so I might start at The Witcher Three. I've got to download it. I kind of want to maybe start a Tales of game. I've been kind of like leaning towards, but I think I might just. Straight up, just Jonah. play. Uh, Fine. they got him out, but The Witcher. Unaratu was captured. Oh no, are you okay? Yeah, I'm going off to the box. I don't know how long it'll take. Do what you have to. But, Thanks. Yeah, that'd probably be it because it's the only one I got downloaded right now. I think. I mean, right now we literally only have Witcher three downloaded. I need to play Spyro, but I think. What we'll do is, once we beat uh, Tomb Raider, we'll start Spyro again, is kind of, I guess, my plan. <sighs> Get through this one, and once we beat this one, then we'll play Spyro, but which are probably our other game. <coughs> which I think today, we'll probably play Apex in a little bit. One of my mods, I think we'll be hanging out for a little bit today. So I'll probably play like Apex after we play this today and then maybe start the Witcher afterwards. Yeah, or maybe just start it tomorrow. Might just start it tomorrow. Yeah, I, I stream usually Monday through Friday. Some days on the weekend, but usually always Monday through Friday at this time. We're pretty uh, consistent about that. We stream right around this time, Monday through Friday. I have been streaming on another platform called Caffeine lately, after st stream here. What time is it? It's 8.02 a.m. Where are you from? Are you from the UK, I'm guessing? Or... I'm from Sweden, ah. Sweden people have such cool accents. Very fancy dance. So you're like five or six hours ahead of me. When I speak Americans think I'm American, really? Oh, that is true, I guess. I guess that is true. Like when I hear Swedish people talk a lot of times, like they, their accent's so slight, you don't, it doesn't sound much different than ours does. And you guys speak English really well. Well, oh, 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 okay, that worked. That totally worked. I can't, <laughs> I, thought we're, I thought that that was going to kill us, but, I mean, we did that on purpose, right? We totally did that on purpose. We knew that we could make that. Oops. 2 p.m. here? Oh, yeah. I can see him kind of early for most people. But I do kind of stream full time and I babysit. That's kind of what we do now. So we do kind of stream a lot. I wish American school systems were better. I mean, you can literally only speak English. Most Americans can. Which I guess, why would we learn other languages, I guess? There's not, like, a whole lot of reason to, other than... Social diversity, maybe? I don't know. 
Bradley Wolf. I can barely speak English, man. I could imagine trying to like speak something else. <laughs> What languages do you speak? I'd say we we'll probably start The Witcher tomorrow, honestly. Because I think our friend's gonna come hang out. I know The Witcher is pretty in depth, and I don't wanna like start it and then maybe start tomorrow fresh. Maybe, we'll see. I need to check something really fast. That's the wrong one. We did in Hebrew. I lived in Israel for a few years when I was younger. My mom and I moved around a bit in my youth. Did you like moving around when you were younger? I know some people, they seem like they're always moving, but I always felt like I don't... I don't know. I guess it depends if you have kids or not. Check something really fast and see about starting The Witch. If we're going to start today, maybe just put it off and start tomorrow. Today is, what, Tuesday? Tuesday. Or Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, we might just start The Witcher tomorrow. So we don't get too engulfed in it today. Start tomorrow after... After this. Hebrew sounds fun. I got Unuatu captured. What's Dominguez going to do with her? As long as he needs the box, he'll keep her alive. That's fine. I don't <sighs> mind. I hope. I feel like there's nothing wrong with sharing yourself, you know? I'm a very blunt and honest person myself. It's kind of exhausting trying to like hide who you are all the time. Some people, like I said, I don't know how they do it. They like, I, I know one person, she seems to move constantly. She has two kids. It's like, that seems so rough on kids, personally. But I didn't voice my opinion about it to her. <laughs> it's just like, well, to each their own, I guess. To each their own. You work with side streaming? Oh, uh, not really. I do, uh, I babysit. That's about it. I babysit. It's like four days a week. And stream, and that's pretty much it at the moment. I mean, since we're gonna share personal stuff, right? I have a, I do have a, uh, a seven-year-old, which her mother's not involved at all. She hasn't seen her in a, I think it's been over a year, but whatever. Um, so it's kind of like I stream while she's in school. Which is why we stream at this time, because it's when she's in school. At dinner, Lopez asked me if I believed these heathens were worthy of the artifact's alleged power. I had to admit that the Pytetians seemed noble and industrious. However, their taut skin stretched tight over sinewy muscles, and lack of shame made them more similar to beasts. And what of our leaders in the society? He then asked. 
should they be able to wave their perfumed and ring fingers in any direction and expect us to obey, to return and sit at their side when they beckon? Do they not treat us as inferior beings, as beasts as well? I had no answer. What he'd said was heresy and treason, but in some way, I wondered if it wasn't the truth. I mean, it's one of those things. I mean, not much I could do about it, but it, it, it is. Have enough space for that. Kids are funny, right? I feel like it depends on the kids, though. I think that's why it's a little bit different when it's your own kid. Because, you know, people say that. And you think, well, that's kind of an interesting statement. But usually if it's your own kid, hopefully they kind of act the way that you want them to act. I mean, because that's just... But other people's kids, I can kind of see why people... Because a lot of people are really bad about raising kids. Like, they just misbehave and they, you know, dealt with a lot of that stuff. Yeah, it's interesting because for me, it's like, I don't know. I don't think I would change it if I could. I I, I enjoy it. He definitely brings, I think, the best out of me. Definitely, definitely. I mean, without her, I probably wouldn't do, you know. That's kind of a good thing. have cat kids yeah i know a lot of people that are like that there's nothing wrong with that some people are like you should have kids right <laughs> you should have them no matter if you want them or not you should have them <laughs> it's not maya or inca they're not for anybody everybody and they kind of they take over your life you know i mean heck cats take over your life at times i got one cat and he's a prick <laughs> all full up can't carry any more that I could dive. All right, here I go. This is incredible. Mom, I don't want kids. I have a mod that's like that. He's around your age, and he's been with this girl for a long, long time. <coughs> but people just don't want kids, you know? Understandable. Like I said, once you have kids, it's kind of just your life. There's not much you can do anymore. That's how my mod is. I think my mod, he's been with this girl for like 20 years. Which they, they started dating in like high school, so... He's Another basically just been with the same girl for his entire life. This figure portrayed on the cross is Definitely not Jesus time. Christ, but Kukul Khan. I suppose a parallel could be drawn between the two. We die earlier. I think we did. I think that's our first death of the day. Uh, let's see if our counter's on. It is. Okay, so we can just do this. Oh, uh, was it easy to stop? You have, can't have more games from stream. Yes, no more games from you. Right. No more games. That's what I've been trying to do is avoid even looking at games lately. Just don't even like look them up. If I don't feel the drive to want to get more, just don't look at them. <laughs> no matter how much I love like looking at games. 
I still like the old-fashioned way of looking at games. I think we might die again. Definitely just play through what you got, right? I'm too much of a like a like a hoarder basically. Not maybe like a hoarder, but I, I do enjoy just like looking at my games, like hard copies. Definitely over the other ones. Kinda have a problem. It's so hard not to though, it's like That's why I kinda miss like I miss older games. You know, they had the fancy manuals and all this other stuff. Ooh, secrets. Nice. It's not really showing us much, though. I wonder if all these things are here. All these. Are they all, like, here? Switch crap, I have to sub to Humble Bundle so I get so much filler. I've unsubscribed a couple of weeks ago, just wanted for my sub to run out two months. Yeah. And I think a lot of people have that issue of like feeling the urge to beat all their games. Like I have met a lot of people, they will like play a crappy game just because they own it. But to me, if you if you ain't enjoy playing it, what's the point, right? If you're not enjoying playing it. Kind of pointless, in my opinion. I try not to play any game I don't enjoy. It's kind of hard when you start a game, though, I know, and just, like, just leave it unbeaten for me sometimes. But I try to, like, not worry too much about it. If it's not fun, what's the point, right? Kind of how PlayStation is too. The PlayStation, you get like PlayStation Plus. They do give out free games, and a lot of the games are kind of eh, but not all of them, of course. There's some, there's some gems in there. Like this week, they had Bioshock One and Two, the collection. That I've been wanting to play, so. all these treasure chests like in this area can you anybody know I don't know if I want to like leave here I might as well just get all the treasure chests while we're in this area if they're all right here but I don't know if they're all here or this. <sighs> try not to it's kind of rude I need a setup so we can get a mic a little bit easier there's another one I mean, we just got one left somewhere. <sighs> I will not be doing it again. Yeah. We got one left somewhere, right? One left. I'm guessing they're all right here in this area. We dive. I did have to Google like some of them. I finally got like tired. I think it was like the nest ones. I got really tired of like looking for the nests. Okay. Oh, 
for that. We've been all over this place on the wall. Where the other one would be. Got that one, right? I wonder if there's one in there. I don't want to like move forward and then like accidentally continue the quest. It's just like right here. I'm dead again. It's Dang piranhas. Some high graphic ones. Like what? Never really much cared about graphics per se. I mean, I'd much rather go for story, but really pretty games are always nice, though. So. Or nice, you know. I'm gonna assume one of these treasure chests is in here somewhere. If I'm not mistaken. I think I might be. I think it, I think they're all right back there. Carried a sacred object to a great temple. The box of each. What was that? Yeah. Yep, I agree. Some games are a little bit harder to play if the graphics are weird. The detailed engravings on this helmet in its unusually good condition could mean this helmet was worn more as an accessory rather than protection in combat. Perhaps Lopez used it to project an air of importance. Oh. Wasn't there something here we saw glowing? Right here it is. <laughs> That's what's kind of amazing how good console games can look sometimes because, you know, which I know they lose money on consoles usually. It's kind of like they make money off games and other stuff. Bug me if we don't find this last stupid treasure chest. <sighs> Got one left, game. Where the hell is it at? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean. <coughs> It's always kind of boggled my mind when some people like try to argue against PC, but I mean, I feel like <coughs> well, I feel like if PC games didn't look better than console, why would you pay extra for them? You know, I mean, you gotta think like a console is usually like five hundred dollars, maybe six hundred dollars at the most, compared to a PC, which even a decent PC is over a thousand dollars. You know, to get good, good graphics, you need like two or three grand. 
to really get a good PC. So it's kind of like one of those things, like, yeah. I can't carry it makes sense, right? More frames per second, more, uh, frame, I mean, more frames, more, uh, textures, more stuff can be rendered in at once. Because a lot of games, you know, that's how consoles get away with some of it. They don't render in as much until you get close to it. Which kind of messes you up in some shooters and different games because... Yeah, motion sick and can't get the same immersion. Sucks. That's why it's kind of nice a lot of games give you the option, you know? Most, uh, third person or first person. Oh, she's drowning. I think we might just Google this at this point. I don't know where it's at. I don't... What's this one called? It's third person only? Aw. Can you at least watch people stream those games? No problem. I mean, I know it's not as good, but... I know it's not as good, but I guess it's better than nothing. Problem with not feeling connected to the care. Yeah, it sucks. I get that though. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. I don't really like how this one's set up. It's hard to see it. Ugh, it's hard to see this one. I've looked at this one before. Let's see. This is one here. This is basically like two here, right? There's, because there's this one on the edge, right? And there's one like right below it, supposedly. Oh my flipping god! It. Why do they add piranhas in this? <laughs> so annoying! I literally can't like explore at all without like dying for these stupid things. Yeah, I'd much rather play a game if I have the option. Oh wait, is it right here? No, it's not. Yeah. That's how I kind of grew up though. Like my grandfather used to play video games growing up. So I kind of grew up just watching games. So I enjoyed it a lot, but just... I also thought it was a wooden box. I know I got excited, but it wasn't the thing wooden box. I don't know which one we're missing here. I feel like I'm like looking at it. I feel like if we're missing one, it's the one over here. But I don't know if we got this one, but I don't remember. It was in this box, right? I think it was in that one, so we did get that one. Well, I was wrong then. Okay, so we got that one. Hell, which one are we missing? There's a lot of squares. Ugh. Oh, here it is. Okay. Found them all. Cheated a little bit, but nobody will know, right? Shh. Threaten Zero Dawn, yeah. 
That one's really good. Really, really good. I mean, with the PS5 coming out, I guess, I mean, if you'd really to get past the controller feeling, you could probably get that stuff really cheap, you know? You could probably get a PS4 pretty cheap and play a lot of the exclusives. Maybe you could find, like, a third-party controller that fits a bit better, you know? I know there's a lot of options for controllers. You can find a decent one. PC soon. Oh, nice. That's good. Works out then. I wasn't sure. I can never keep up. People were talking like Spider Man coming to PC. And if Spider Man ever comes to PC, it'll be a long time. A long, long time. Do you like RPGs then, or do you mainly just. I mean, I guess you like The Witcher, but I know The Witcher is a little bit different. Oh. Scared me. Fine. Zombies brave. A rubbing taken from the walls of the cenote. It is simply a large X and the word run. I role play as well. That sounds fun. I've never done that. But I, I'm not really much on talking to the other people at IRL if I can avoid it. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather avoid people if I could. Can we go down a little bit, lady? So full of crap. Kind of annoying. I think my favorite RPG I've played lately, though. Was Dragon Quest Eleven? Was it Dragon Quest? Is it Eleven? I think it's Eleven. I really, I think that's been my favorite RPG I've played this whatever last so many years, or at least newer game, the newer RPGs. It's occasional. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I don't really even have any close friends on IRL. I'd rather avoid people if I could.
A Plague Tale? Is that on PS5? PS4? Sorry guys, I'm back. Good to see you. Uh, I forgot to pause that. Yeah, that one. I have to bookmark that one too. That one's on. Um, that one is on PS4. I think it's on PSN. I think I I looked at Amazon, but didn't have any hard. They only had like a uh a ver a, a, a version from over there from wherever. Do anything with that, right? Oh, I messed that up, rip. I think that's your way out though. Oh, so we need a shotgun, which is a story one, right? I guess. Wasting bullets. No! <sighs> Push the wrong button! I know right as I don't then. Uh, but a plague's tail? Okay. Whoops. <laughs> no. I died there. I swear, that's, I think that's the main way I die in this game. I don't know about you. It's just like stupid, like falling off crap. It's just like literally just bad, like jumps. Bad jumps. <laughs> Big reason, yeah. I don't buy <laughs> that. First of December, sixteen oh three, we've entered a cenote not far from the city and set up camp in a small alcove. Lopez has spent the evening staring into the flames. Utterly ensorcelled, his dinner untouched. Twice I attempted a conversation, but his silence rebuffed me each time. He is utterly focused on this artifact. If I were a more superstitious man, I would wonder if the artifact is speaking to him directly. The soldiers keep to themselves as well. They seem anxious for battle. One of their dogs stared at me all evening, as though I were to be his next meal. We've attempted a conversation. We 
We might try out Plague's Tale. It looks good. I don't know which way. I got myself turned around here. We came in this. We we came in there, right? So this is the way to the challenge tomb. Another platform I really loved was Prince of Persia. It's kind of sad, like that they don't have any more Prince of Persia games. Any shotgun? I wish we'd hurry up and get the shotgun. That's like the only thing we got left to, to do a lot of these quests is shotguns. I feel like it's weird that like a shotgun can get through that, but not a uh not a grenade launcher. <laughs> Kinda weird to me. my bearings here. Aren't you going the wrong way? I don't know. I know we're like going the wrong way, kinda, but it is for the challenge tomb kind of thing, right? But why it's not the right way, it's kinda, you know, there's stuff this way. I don't think we're like backtracking. Kind of thing, right? I don't think so either. I think you could just die if you try to go the wrong way, per se. Come on, Impulpus. did go the wrong way there. I think it like sucked us into the... Go get me food too, Raz. Okay, thank you. Kind of place is kind of twisty turvy badly. Can we like climb up here? Good, hang around chatting, yeah. Eve, Evie's been keeping us company today, it's been nice. 
He's trying to talk me into getting more games, though. I don't know how I feel about that, but fine, I guess. Been trying to get me to get more games. <laughs> right? He's trying to bully me into getting more games. Dare she. Oh, what games? He's talking about uh, Plague Tale. Uh, the, the other one that started with an O. I bookmarked them. I'm going to check them out later. Or in the bottom forest. There we go. I knew it started with a new. I bookmarked it so I wouldn't forget. Got it though. What the heck is this at? I guess we just. Yes. Bible catch. There we It's good. Yeah, I've heard good things about it. I haven't heard of Ori, I don't think. I don't think I've heard of that one. I might be wrong, though. Which never happens. Oh, it's Barry. Oh, yeah, there was another one. I don't know if it's available. Oh, I need to check my backloggy, I guess. Uh, but there was one where he... <sighs> Dang it, guys. We're never gonna... Might just switch over to Apex so we can just talk and hang out without, like, worrying about gameplay as much. <laughs> We might go ahead and switch just so we can talk a bit easier. Uh, Amazon. Uh, da, ba, 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 ba. Man, it's luckily she ain't got like big boobities, man. She would never be able to do any of these places. There must have need to find a way through this barricade. Positives, right, guys? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, should be on the beaten game, did it? Oh, Enslaved Odyssey to the West was really good, which I haven't heard really anybody really mention that one. Enslaved Odyssey to the West, I really loved. I played it on PS3 though, so I don't know where if it's available elsewhere, but it was really good. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hunted the Demon's Forge I really liked, even though I kind of screwed the ending up on it. Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom was another good one that I haven't seen people play. These ones. That one, uh, and this one. I really enjoyed playing. We're really good. Need to find a way through this barricade. Array small boobities, right? Try 100, yeah. Well, perps told me it took me like would take like 6 to 80 hours to get through. Uh, which maybe I think I should just tell me her playthrough. Need to find a way through this barricade. Oh my god, I know, lady, just calm down. That's one thing I don't like is that she repeats herself over and over again. Like I'm trying to let me like be a pack rat and search all these nooks and crannies first. This seems to be some kind Y'all, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Enslaved is from Ninja Theory. Yeah, you should definitely if you if you if you have the ability like Enslaved and Majin the Forsaken Kingdom are really good games. Way through this barricade. They're kind of less and lesser known, but I don't know if they're available <laughs> elsewhere. But I played them on PS3. I love lesser known games. A lot of games just get recommended to death, man. You you just kind of basically you anybody recommends games, they kind of recommend the same crap forever and ever. Kind of just recommend the same stuff. Looks as though this was built to keep people in and not out. Need to find a way through this barricade. To find a way through this barricade. I know, lady. We quit.
Need to find a way through this barricade. <sighs> On Hellblade, yeah. Yeah, I said if you haven't played it, you should definitely check it out. Need definitely to find check a way it out. Through this barricade. Oh my flipping god, Laura. Need to find a way. Uh, I want to like strangle her sometimes. Through this barricade. But in a nice way. Another one that's kind of lesser known, but I enjoyed was uh, ba 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 ba. Folklore was fun, but not as good, really. I just saw it. I blind. Somebody's blind, right? This one was fun too. I really dis. The only problem with this Hunt of the Demons Forge was I accidentally got the bad ending. It's really easy to get the bad ending. I just YouTube the right ending though, because I didn't want to replay the entire game to get the gooder ending. Gooder ending. How did it get inside this cavern? I haven't played it. It's good. If you want a little bit, of, if you want minor spoilers, how to avoid the 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 the, the, the bad ending. There's like no warning to like what you should do. It just seems kind of it's kind of annoying. <laughs> kind of annoying. I kind of wish somebody would have told me how to avoid the bad ending, honestly. <laughs> I, I don't know. Kind of sucks. I feel like it's like solely like a second playthrough kind of thing is how you uh avoid that. You avoid it. Ninja Theory? Yeah. Ninja Theory does some good games, then. I, I'm really bad about a lot of developers. I should probably check them out a bit more. See what other games they make. Sound like Eevee, Eevee says you got a lot of games. What is that? Hmm. Oh, yeah, bullet time game. I have a pretty decent backlog of games too, but I've been playing through a lot of them lately. I've been getting through them. This tomb being a long one, it seems like it. I think once we finish this tomb, I think we might switch games. I think it's almost time for Perps to come talk, so we'll probably switch to Apex. We might come back and play this after Apex though, honestly. I don't know, we'll see, I guess. Find a way to break through the deck. Ah, deck. <laughs> Full of skill. <clears throat> Why is this not moving? Not weird. The Falconet's in position. Need to reach the bow. Need to reach the bow. 
I think I'd honestly like to play this on hard mode just so she doesn't repeat herself a thousand times. It's kind of like in like Ocarina of Time and that dang fairy it's telling me a thousand time. times. <laughs> it's kind of old after a while, you know, a little bit. Eighty-one hours, yeah. I put like half the time in there, and I don't think I'll get back to it. Honestly, I enjoyed it, but I don't. I guess I don't want to sit there and collect them. I would kind of like to, I guess, but it's just kind of tedious. That baby went up for air before we went through there, but it's fine. This is a long dungeon, yeah. It seems or a long tomb. It seems like a long tomb, honestly. I, I kind of didn't realize we were going through a tomb here. I was kind of confused when we hit the water. I think we missed stuff back there before we got to this section by accident. Change up access to skills. Any more games, right? <laughs> a bunch of oh, where we go from here, right here, man. Oh. Are, are, do you guys do that? Like, you can't figure out where to go, and then you say it out loud, and then it makes a lot more sense. I feel like that's the best way to game. If you ever get stuck, just say it out loud, and usually you, you just, like, notice something really simple. It's just, it's like, well... So I'm really bad about that. Like, like, I sit there, and I try to do something, and I just say, oh... I just speak the problem out loud, and I'm like, oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Damn, it won't budge. That's what she said. Ugh. I'll have to free that boom. I'll have to free that boom. I can't make that jump. Where did this put us at? Back all the way through here? Shoot. I don't know why she panics at that spot right there. I don't know what it is, but she just panics. Although, I didn't see any like piranhas or anything, but she sure doesn't like it. I'll have to free that boom. Rushing too much. Made a stupid mistake there. Need to reach that crate. Need to reach that crate. But how do we reach that crate? Can't jump there, can we? I'll have to free that boom. Can't push this one either, can I? Need to reach that crate. I don't want to backseat play. It's gotta be simple, right? I'll have to free that boom. Need to reach that crate. Or at least it's right here, right? 
Outside the box. That was a very clever one of you. <laughs> I'll have to free that boom. Very clever. Well, we figured it out right before you gave me the clues. Let the record show, right? I'll have to free that boom. Might a little bit of backseat gaming, but people some people just give too much information. Shit. The boom swung out too far to reach. Have to orientate the boom. I wish we could get like a good pirate game like this, it'd be kind of fun. There's been a few decent ones. But you see all these like sort of fires. Have to orientate the boom. Have to orientate the boom. No honey, but where we go from here. I don't know if we're supposed to go back down or have to orientate the boom. I don't know. For a pirate game, yeah. Get these. It's too whatever for me. Have to orientate the boom. The boom the boom 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 boom. I like the art style. That's my thought. That was honestly my first thought when you said it was the art style. That was definitely my first thought. Thing art style of it. Have to orientate the boom. My flipping god, Laura. Do I have to go all the way back down and then go back up. <coughs> To orientate the boom. <laughs> Have to orientate the boom. Yeah, that is my problem with it the entire time watching it. It's just orientate the boom. gameplay of it. I don't know other options. Yeah, I played one on like PS2. That was a lot of fun. But... Have to orientate the boom. Oh, flipping God. <laughs> oh shit, battles. I feel like it would be really cool to have a pirate game kind of like Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Redemption. Better controls, preferably, but. I think there's nothing to grab over there. Just die. Have to orientate the boom. That's what I want. I just said something kind of like Red Dead. But you, ha I don't know. <laughs> Be kind of cool. Have to orientate just a straight up kind of like Red Dead Redemption, but with pirates instead of cowboys. Kind of what I'm looking for. Boom, da boom, da boom, da boom.
This this puzzle is a giant pain in the neck, honestly. Giant pain in the neck. <laughs> Have to orientate the boom. I plan on like quitting after this, but at this rate. I think Orientate the boom. Shut up! Ah! <laughs> Quit telling me you need to orientate the tank boom. Uh. Have to orientate the boom. I know we have to orientate the boom, but I don't know how we orientate said boom boom. I don't know how we do that, Laura. Like, that doesn't help me at all. Have to orientate the boom. I gotta be missing something, like, simple. There's so many of these stupid things here, but I don't know... So over this, I don't know what to do. It's triggering me. <laughs> it's starting to trigger me. You won't quit repeating yourself. It's like, man, Laura. Or it's the backseat gamers. What are we supposed to be doing next? I'm kind of over this puzzle already. I'm just over it. Have to Zombies getting grumpy. Was that as simple as me just pointing it, going the wrong freaking direction? Was it really that simple? God dang it. <laughs> well, that's a little bit triggering. Just a little bit. I'm sitting there that, that much time spending trying to figure it out. <laughs> I literally just, I pushed the button the wrong way. Oh. EG, right? EG. Yard on 
We got it. Without any backseat gaming help. TV was nice. She didn't really share too much information. We need to get inside the cabin. We underestimated the natives. Crafty bastards. Told us of a cave filled with gold, but they led us into a trap. I was looking at Steam. No, Evie, no games. <laughs> After a ferocious battle, we pushed them back. The remaining men loaded the ship with whatever valuables we could find. The battle must have weakened the cavern, for when we tried to escape, it collapsed. I hear them out there, even now, digging through the barriers. I'm gonna put you in timeout, right? There's this too we maybe want to get before we leave here, right? Can't tell if it's like right here or not, though. Further increased breathing capacity? All that just to breathe longer underwater? It must be past the temple. Well, well, that's that's something, I guess. <laughs> games you want? She told me earlier that I had to tell her not to buy games, perps. So, so, boo boo to you, chuku kachu. How do we? So, so you're wrong. The perps. exit must be past the temple. You'd be wrong in it, perps. I feel like there's something here, right? I mean, like over there. Looks like it. Like I don't think have we we haven't been to there, but I don't know how we get this chain to go there. At least that's not something. I own too many. See, perps. The exit must be ah, ha, ha. Oh, shoot. We need... Huh. Is there anything over there, Evie? Do you remember if there's anything over there? The exit must be past. Like I don't want to like try to like Temple. figure this out. Maybe it's just something I forgot to do earlier. Maybe. I kind of feel that way. I think we. Uh, I think it was just an easier way to backtrack. But I don't know if I want to go back all the way back over there. Mm -mm. Does he like jump up and like hit this? On my way out. The exit must be past the temple. There's nothing on the map there that shows anything there, which can mean something, I guess. Yeah, but it wouldn't like attach to. It must be past the temple. It wasn't attached to anything, though. I don't want to leave without, like, checking. But it won't, like, attach to that, though. That's the problem. Like, you see, like... At least I'm missing something, like, how to do that. But it won't, like, allow me to... It won't, like, attach to it. I don't know. Yeah, because, like, when you do this, it won't, like, show me the thing to attach. Ugh. So we can get over there. Must be past the temple. <laughs> the 
exit must be past the temple. So this is the area right here. I don't know if there's anything here though. I feel like there's nothing here. Yeah, I feel like there's nothing here. The exit must be past the temple. It just kind of just leads us back to where we started. What kind of game are you looking at right now, by the way? Is there anything that caught your eye? Is it just looking in general? Are we coming to talk this morning, Purple Total Game? Hell yeah. Kind of sucks the some of these prizes. Breathing longer kind of sucks. I mean, I feel like a lot of the problem with the water stuff is not so much breathing longer. It's more just dealing with the dang piranhas and eels in the water. List. Thank you so much for the 20 bitties. I appreciate you. Such a sweetheart, Evie. Okay. Thank you so much. The exit must be past the temple. Is there a way to get past this this way, or do we have to go all the way back around? Man, did I mess up and drop off the wrong side of the dang ship? I think I did. I don't think you can go back this way. Maybe... Oh, some wieners. I love that unicorn. I do too. My kiddo's got a bunch of unicorn stuff. Join when you're ready. Serious music, though. Oh, I've got heartburn. Hey, the Papa Total Games. Hello. Why, wow, really? You interrupted us. How you doing today? Just roll your eyeballers. I'm okay. How are you? The exit must be past the temple. Right. Well, that's fantastic. You're fantastic. You're right. <laughs> Ah, got her. Even rusted out, you can tell this is a quality weapon. It was likely manufactured in Toledo. The city was renowned for their steelwork. That is a nice sword. What did you spec to get a blue light thing? I, uh... Oh shoot, messed me up. No! I wanted to. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have pushed that. Dang it. Where's this? Shoot. I was meant to. I pushed the wrong button. I don't remember. Oh, dang it. <laughs> dang it, dang it, dang it. Where was it at? Where are we at? Does anybody know? Should be at the bottom, right? And there's a lot of stuff. I mean, to click off of that like a dum dum. Guess it's not important. <laughs> Too many like, if there was a way to like do it where you could just like, it's a mess. It is. I guess I won't worry about it. It's not important. I should have clicked off of it. But uh, all you do is you just click on it, right? You just like, if you see, let's see, we, we got anything to? You just click. Like mine is just X, right? You push X. So it's whatever your. I'm guessing whatever your action button is. You just push X on it, and it uh. Highlights your thing if, if you have it available. It is. I can't believe I've done that. I kind of wish there was just a recent section. That would fix it. Just have a recent section where you could just like. 
It's really helpful because a lot of times it shows you, like, if you're trying to find something, uh, like, even what level it's on. That's a great idea, yeah. I feel like that'd be the issue, just in case you accidentally, like, mess something up and accidentally click off of it without checking it all the way. That would have been nice there because I literally have no clue what section that would even be under. Or maybe even a section that shows like which ones have secrets. That would be nice too. Just show me a section that shows like... This is going to be a pain to get out of here, isn't it? I don't think you can go back the way you came in. Oh, zumba, zumba, zumba. What are you playing today, perps? Darksiders. I can't believe we missed that dang caffeine. I, they, they give you such little time. They give you such little time to... Uh, for that stuff you know mm -hmm. I mean literally it pops up and as soon as it pops up you can start it I think we'll just quit here I might regret it though if we quit here though but we'll just try to figure it out I guess tomorrow <laughs> how to uh how to get back out of here I think we'll just uh I don't know if we should stop here though or try to get out of here before we stop. I think we we'll... should probably try to get out. Rude. I mean, I could just use the teleporty thingy out, but it didn't want to be going like all the way back to try to figure out. It's gonna be a giant pun in the bullet. That passed the temple, so I'm guessing it's the other way. I don't know how like some game companies don't think of like simple stuff to like help a little bit. It's funny because a lot of games just like hold your hand too much, and some of them just don't do it enough. I really like addition of like a lot of games nowadays, which I don't think they've done as much used to, is like letting you know how much treasure is in each area. So you know before you leave. The exit must be past the temple. Must be past the temple. Well, that isn't. Help me a whole lot. All the things to discuss today, perhaps I remember. We do. Yep. The exit must be past the temple. All the things. That's ominous. All the ominous, right? Don't you enjoy when people tell you that what you need to talk about? You have to wait. <laughs> no, I don't think anybody enjoys that. But nothing to do with us, just other people. I figured. Oh, did you? I know, but I was making sure you knew. Probably. You can't find your way out, can you? No, I can't. But at least Laura is repeating herself that it must be past the temple. That's really helping, Laura. I appreciate it. Appreciate you a lot, girl. Not a clue how to get out of here. I had to look it up. I bet. This is ridiculous. The exit must be past the temple. The thing is, I think I missed stuff, too. I 
How do you get out of here then? The you want to tell? Can you just possible. tell me without me looking it up? You don't, do you remember? Or do you know? <laughs> kind of looks like it could be over here though. If I could like, don't remember. What's up, Sam? How you doing? The exit must be past the temple. Oh my God, Laura! I want to gut you sometimes. <laughs> just like. She repeats herself like constantly. Ah, uh, man. I should have just quit at that stupid safe spot. <laughs> I don't feel like doing this anymore. <laughs> Over this dungeon. Wait, where are we at? Did it put us all the way at the beginning of the dungeon? It did. It must be past the temple. Ah, uh, motherfucker. You can just fast travel back? Yeah, I guess. But then we'll just be putting us... That turned around. The exit must be past I feel like a lot of times, though, at the end, though, they have stuff. It should be, like, right here, you would think. Somewhere right here. <laughs> you think honestly it would be like at the end there, you would think. The exit must be past the temple. Do you think if you go down here, this is the end of it? Why would they like make you just like randomly try to figure out? It'd be like this way, right? What do you think? Oh, mother trucker! <laughs> what is this place even called? Which I don't even know how you would look this up, right? Note secret temple exit, I guess. <laughs> it's like a lot of people have this problem, just can't get out. You are, you are ours forever. Out of fine, blah blah blah. Da da ba da, back to the aft mast, aft mast. Is it the only way? The ducky. How's our favorite quacker doing? The exit must be past the temple. Oh my flipping flopper, that was loud. Okay, so that's that. Okay, we that's Yeah, you can't fast travel out until you actually leave this place apparently. One second guys, I'm watching this video. We can do that, we done that. Okay. Wow, they didn't pick up the gold triggering. <laughs> They just go back this way, I wonder. And they 
go through the crack, right? It's been a while since I've had somebody. Oh, never mind. It's gross. Koopa going. Right, perps. No comment. Pass. One second, guys. I'll read chat. That was convulsed as hell, but whatever, I guess. I think this is the way out. <laughs> uh, there's a path on your right. Have you taken it before you started moving? What did you say? I didn't say anything. Zombie says normal stuff all the time. I'm a coach normie. It was kind of funny, like, confusing everybody in Discord with deleting stuff. And it's funny because they only saw purposes. Purposes was the problem. I deleted mine fast. No more. Nobody saw mine but you. <laughs> How are you doing today, Ducky? What's up? I think we got it. I think. I think we got all the items here, too, maybe. I jumped! Whatever. Game's so much fun. Enjoying this a lot. I need a full body massage. Sounds good to me. Burps, go give her a full body massage. And a happy ending too, of course. I need one for like my neck and back, but you didn't jump. I pushed the X button. I pushed the X button. Like literally, it's just X, right? Jump. See? I don't know why she didn't jump. She literally just like, haha! I haven't been penetrated in a while. Let me use these spikes. See, that time it worked flawlessly. She just like, like, okay, I'm just gonna just naturally actually do this. Easy pizzas. You would know about those happy endings. I like how you're pointing out that I would know about it, but you know what they are too, so... So... You know? <laughs> right, perps? Sorry, I was making a clip. What? Raz pointed out that I know what a happy ending is. Like, of course I would know what it was, but, the, but he knows what it is too, so... I feel like that's the way we don't. I don't know which way to go here. Heck and bamboozled. I don't want to like accidentally go the back wrong way and then like accidentally have to go all the way through this stupid thing again. I wish we had like a smaller map, honestly. I wish they had a map that was like zoomed in so you could like make sure you didn't go the wrong way. I'm not sure which pathway we're supposed to take here. I know we went that way. I think that's the way we went to do the dungeon, right? There's like three options here. Hopefully. I never got a mod I didn't try to sleep with after. Yeah. Like an actual massage would be great. Like go to somebody that actually knows what they're doing. Yeah, like. Sounds expensive though. Sounds expensive. Okay, I think we got our way out here. Kind of sucks we're going to have to come back here anyways, because there is some, uh... I don't like strangers touching me. I heard that too, but I, I've heard a lot of people still like it. Like, once you get past that, that, that part in your brain that's like, this is weird. <laughs> but once you get past that, it's like worth it. I think it's like a lot of things in life, though. If you just try it, it's probably not as bad as you think it is. Oh, I know. I know the feeling. <laughs> I'm the same way a lot of times.
Well, it's just that I've heard it's worth it, though. For the best, non-professionals are sloppy and annoying. Just like me, sloppy and annoying. But it says just one of those things, it's just getting out of your comfort zone. It's kind of like a camera, right? I, on on streaming, a lot of people like hate will not use a camera, but like once you use the camera, it's like honestly, it kind of second nature. And you don't even think about it anymore once you get past that first initial like. Ugh. Why did? Oh God! I swear to—I swear we only die in this stupid game because his lore is a, f a flipping moron half the time. Like I could jump up or I could jump back into like a pit of death because that's what we do, right? I never get to that point. Got to the point of what? I'm not mining a camera. You don't stream often enough though to get used to it though. That's the big thing. You don't stream enough. I feel like for you, you, you. I mean, you take like such big gaps with streaming. Which again, you're a girl too, which I think probably makes a difference too. It's kind of weird, like even compliments from guys, from random people in your chat is weird. Like if a guy comes in and says, wow, you're beautiful, and you're just like... What? Like, leave me alone, right? <laughs> The can? Your can cans out? Maybe that's the problem. I'd feel embarrassed if I had my can cans out. Pretty hard, hard. Oh, we finally got the shotgun. It's on a different site. Oh yeah. I was scared about using can for the first time in stream. Now I think it'd be fun. It gives person. Yeah, I said you do get used to it. I mean, most of us, I guess. He's not happy. I'm on my phone, so I know. I'm just teasing you, that duck. I gotta quit teasing people. Some people can't take teases very well. But These must be the Trinity soldiers who went missing. Just can't take teases at all. But keep streaming and goes, okay, I'm finished. You can stop now. <laughs> God. That's awful. I should have laughed at that. Purpose told me to. People are awful sometimes. So this is the gun we start with. This one has a silencer on it. Yep, totally gross. On my face skin. I think we're gonna quit here though, guys. I think we'll switch over to Apex for a little bit. We might start Witcher today, or I might I might I'll probably put it off till tomorrow. It's off till tomorrow. We also got to stream on caffeine sometime today. I can't believe I missed a dang sponsorship. That would have been probably a couple hundred bucks. Rip, rip, rip. It was only 10 hours, too. I tried to sign up for it anyways because I did stream on there this week. Or, so I thought maybe they would like let me like use the back data, but... I, mean, I could maybe message and ask them, but probably not worth it. Probably not worth it. Pretty sure they wanted to wear it. Well, that's what you get for being pretty. Sounds like your fault, right? Just rub feces all over your face. It works in prison. Well, I guess we should do the stream marker thing, right? If you guys enjoyed the playthrough of Tomb Raider, it was fun. I don't know how to do this, because anytime I try to do this, people are like, oh, okay, bye, zombie, and then they leave because they think I'm quitting streaming. <laughs> just meant, right? So we're just done playing now. We're going to switch over to play Apex, which is probably not everybody's game, but... Zombies needs a nice brain killer after dealing with that. Let's get salty at this dang game.